Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. Yes, I have lights in your eyes. That's because I'm going to be aiming you down in just a minute. I am on a mission to make more rope using this funky little loom that I made. So far we have done yarn, t-shirt scraps, and today I am going to try grocery bags. I haven't seen this anywhere on YouTube. I haven't even looked. I'm sure somebody's probably done it. But I have crocheted with grocery bag yarn. They call it plarn, plastic yarn. Get it? And uh, that's really cool, especially to make like beach bags. They're waterproof. So I thought that I would cut some strips and use this and show you how to attach strips of grocery bags together. The trick is you leave them in a loop. You don't cut a long strip and tie knots. So I will show you that as we go. First, if you don't know how to make this little loom, you need to go watch my first video, which is with the yarn, and that will show you how to make the loom. The only thing I did differently for this one is this has a bigger hole. This is the one that I used in the t-shirt fabric video. Bigger hole, and instead of just cutting little slits, I actually made some notches. So I think this will be good for using the bag to make the rope. Let's just get started. I'm so excited. First, let's cut our strips. Just take any grocery bag. I'm lucky to have this nice white one with a little bit of red. These are the bags that I get at Rogers. And just fold it in half lengthwise, and you can fold it again. You can certainly use scissors to cut, or I could use my rotary cutter with my ruler if I wanted to. I'm just going to use scissors. And let's go with, um, I don't know, maybe an inch. First, cut a piece off for that funky bottom that's got all kinds of weird stuff going on. I'm going to try an inch. Let's see what that looks like. Let's do two of an inch. You know, it's pretty thin, so I'm thinking that... Let's go with an inch. I like it. So I'm going to cut seven strips because we have an eight notch loom and one notch has to be empty so we need seven strips well I'm going to say seven rings because we're doing rings not strips so one two seven now those are my starting ones let me just cut a couple so that I can show you how I'm going to attach them I'm just going to put those aside now like we did for the t-shirt rope Remember, I had you guys, um, okay, first, see this is very crooked. That doesn't matter at all. That, that's never going to show in the rope. Just like with the t-shirt video, I'm going to have us cut various lengths of our strings, let's call them, so that when they're knotted, that won't all come up to the top at once. We want the knots to be spaced out. We can go 20 long, so let's do one 20 long. I can because my bags are long. They don't have to go in any particular order, so I'm just going to move that. Just try to get your strands of grocery bags two inches apart, each one. So I did 20, now I'm going to do 18, 16, 14, 12, 10. This one I cut in half, so that was 10, so now I need one that's 8. So I'm just going to cut this one to eight. So you just want seven strands, various lengths. Now, we want the looped end to be hanging out of our loom. So we want to attach all the cut ends. Just put all the cut ends. Don't worry about how long they are. That doesn't matter. Just put them all together. And then we're just going to make a knot at the top. I have no clue if this is going to work. I was going to try it before doing it with you, but I don't have time to do it twice. <laughs> okay, so I have something that looks like this. Lovely. Poor girl's pom-pom. Zoo, rah, zoo. Ooh, it's a little bit big. I, I don't think, well, you know what I could do? I'm going to go get like a paper clip to put here so that it won't want to come back through this hole. 
since I don't have a paper clip near me, but I have a pin near me, I'm just going to stick a pin through this. Well, how about I stick it through there first? Okay, I'm going to put my knot through the hole. If your hole is too big, then find a way to secure it. Sticking my knot through the hole, I am going to put a pin here, and I'm going to just, you know, do that. Yeah, now my knot can't come out. Grab one of your looped strands and put it in a notch. Grab another looped strand, notch it. Doesn't matter if, you know, the length. You don't have to do it in any particular order. There, yeah. so far this is working out good. And there. If any of this isn't making sense to you, just please go watch uh, the first video. That should teach you all you need to know. Now we just hold the empty notch with our thumb and we count up. One, two, three. We take this one out and bring it down. Turn. One, two, three. Take this one out and bring it down. Turn. One, two, three. And down. One, two, three and down. One, two, three, and down. Now look, we have one that's coming up that's going to need to have another loop attached to it. I think this would be my favorite way to do this because it's so easy. Okay, so you take another loop, pass this loop through this loop, and then open that loop up that you just passed through, and pass the rest of that strand through it and then just pull. Look, look, look. Why, why does things like this make me so happy? Have you ever seen anything so easy? So now let's just keep going and we'll do it again. I'll speed you up while I get some of this done. You know another awesome thing is it doesn't all tangle up like yarn or t-shirt fabric because it's slippery. Oh, and every now and then, tug to pull your cord through because it's growing on the back side. Okay, we have another one coming up. Take your next big loop, take this end, pass it through this loop. Now open the end that you just passed through, put the rest of that strand through it, and knot. Ugh, I wish life could always be that simple. And you could go a hundred miles an hour with this. It doesn't tangle. It's nothing to tie them together. Okay, I'm just going to work off camera for a little bit, try to get some of this done. I have become totally addicted to doing things with this loom. What will I try next? My hair? <laughs> okay, I'm going to detach. So you just lift all your strands up, pull it through. I'm going to semi-trim it, tie a knot, and check out the rope that we just made. I love it. Oh my goodness. This is by far my favorite that we have made so far. Obviously, the one with yarn is probably more you know, more suited for bracelets. Embroidery thread is really pretty for bracelets. I still have to do some with embroidery thread. And then the t-shirt, you know, that has its purpose. But this, you know what? I think this would make an awesome dog leash. Somebody mentioned something about dog leashes, but this is just plastic. You don't even have to buy materials. You get this when you buy groceries. And it's so easy. This was the easiest one to use. Easy to cut easy to put the loops together. You just can go 100 miles an hour with this. The strands weren't getting tangled at all for me. They just glide through each other. I had no trouble, you know, keeping the loops together. They were going into the little loom very easily. And it took me no time to make this long of a piece. I mean, you could just sit in front of your favorite TV show and knock out a dog leash trying to think of what else. I mean, obviously, handles of totes. And again, I will be doing some on a bigger loom, so if you want to see those, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Or you could make a bunch of these and braid these together. 
That would make a very thick rope. Or just even do the, the twisting rope tricky. Oh my god. But even this, that will hold a very strong dog. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Again, if you have any questions about something that I did, please go watch video number one because that will teach you the basics. And I will be back with more soon. Bye! I have the playlist at the top right that will show you the first two videos, which include the yarn and the t-shirt fabric. And then I have my most recent upload at the bottom. I will be doing more videos like these, so if you like them, please subscribe. Thanks!